Gaza death toll exceeds 20,000 as Israel expands ground war against Hamas. Here's a summary of the article. Rafa, Gaza Strip. The war in Gaza has killed more than 20,000 Palestinians, health officials in the Hamas-run territory said Friday, a new reflection of the staggering cost of Israel's military offensive as pressure grows to scale it back. More than half a million people in Gaza, a quarter of the population, are starving, according to a report Thursday by the United Nations and other agencies highlighting the crisis caused by Israel's bombardment and siege on the territory in response to Hamas' October 7 attack. Israel, citing security grounds, insists it needs to be able to screen goods entering Gaza. Despite calls for a ceasefire, Israel has said it would press on until Hamas, the militant group that has ruled Gaza for 16 years, has been destroyed. The military has said that months of fighting lie ahead in southern Gaza, an area packed with the vast majority of Gaza's 2.3 million people, many of whom were ordered to flee combat in the northern half of the territory in earlier stages of the war. Israel's military says 137 of its soldiers have been killed in the Gaza ground offensive. The war has also pushed Gaza's health sector into collapse. This post received a score of 5800, with an upvote ratio of 85%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I think Israel is going for 100x their death toll from October 7. It is staggering to think the deaths amount to nearly 1% of the territory's pre-war population. It's basically double than all Palestinian deaths due to the conflict in the period of 2000 to 2020. 20 years vs 2 months. I could be wrong, but didn't Israel declare war on Hamas OCT? 8. I don't think they had any active plans of war during 2000 to 2020. Between 2000 to 2020 were juicy Hamas firing rockets while Israel lost air strikes with some Israeli raids into Gaza like in 2014. I'm done. These world news comments broke me. Engaging here is a pointless exercise anyway. I need a healthier outlet for my rage. I suggest boxing. I was afraid this was going to happen. For every one Israeli that Hamas kills via airstrikes, Israel retaliates by killing hundreds of Palestinians. Not sure what else they expected from such a massive attack on October 7. And no one is going to step in and help Palestine because of Israel and the U.S. Not to mention the neighboring Arab states Jordan and EYPGT want nothing to do with Palestinians given their history and overflow of refugees already. We just have to wait until the dust settles in the war for the killing to stop. Very tragic. Probably a conspiracy rabbit hole but I think Iran might have pushed Hamas in this direction to mess with Saudi normalizing relations with Israel. Iran and Saudi have been fighting so many proxy wars at the detriment of other nations and so many people. How is this an conspiracy? At this point it is pretty much public knowledge that this was pushed by Iran and Russia. Iran don't want relations between the Saudis and Israel. Russia wants to limit military support for Ukraine and force an regime change in the US. More than 20,000 Palestinians have died in Gaza during Israel's war against Hamas, health officials said. Honest question here, who are the health officials reporting this? Are they health officials like this hospital director in Gaza? who, as it turns out, is a Hamas commander. Or are they Israeli officials? Palestinian officials? Maybe independent less biased officials without any ties to either Israel or Palestinians? I had been initially skeptical about two months ago when the officials were reporting over 7,000 fatalities, and shortly after there was misinformation or at least misjudgment from Hamas about an explosion at a Gazan hospital. But I searched online and found articles from T. He Associated Press, Time Magazine, and CNN, among others, that suggested the death tolls are probably quite close to accurate and described the method by which such death tolls are calculated. And hash X200B. And this devastating death toll doesn't seem inconceivable given the staggering scale of the Israeli military C. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.